Oh my goodness, I somehow busted the window. I think, uh-oh, I jackknifed. It's fine, uh-oh, 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 I'm losing some turning power. Oh no, something happened over the waterfall. And, oh man, it is really unstable with that trailer. Oh buddy, we gotta run through this crash. This is gonna suck. So here it is, the lovely Chintilla. It's modern, it's sleek, it's beautiful. But, do you wonder what happens when these things get totaled? Well, they turn into the Shintola. Yes, folks, somebody has essentially turned this thing into a truck. And, yes, it can haul trailers. I don't know how well. Uh, we're going to test that here today. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into this. So, yeah, this car, which I'll have it linked down in the description, has a complete lore story about it being totaled, bought for $500, and basically transformed into, uh, this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, it's kind of cool looking, and the whole fact that it's functional. So, we're going to get rid of this thing and uh, transform it into a trailer and see just how well this thing actually hauls. And is it comparable to a normal semi? Oh my goodness. All right, we have a trailer in. Uh, this was definitely something I didn't have on my list of things to do in Beam and G today. So let's slide under here and then hit L. Um, okay. It. Oh my goodness. It feels like it's pulling it apart slightly. Oh, <laughs> did it just break it? Um, I think we just broke it. <laughs> it was supposed to be able to do this, right? Um, all right. Let's maybe test it out again. Okay, so I've hooked up again. I think... Oddly enough, I don't know why it broke itself. It, like, it basically snapped in half there the first time I tried to hook this up, but we're moving. <laughs> this is stupid looking. It's stupid, but it's incredible. And you know what? This thing has some really good towing power. Oh, let's check the turning. The turning, you know, the turning actually feels better than a T-Series. What the heck? All right, let's just pick up some speed. Get a little bit of wheel spin there. Um, it's functioning, and honestly, I didn't think we would make it out of the parking lot there. Hold on, let's just stop here. We need to observe this real quick. Oh, we totally got to take this down the Crash Hard Mountain. I don't think it's going to survive. Like, I feel like the trailer's going to crush the car. But look, it's got the supports under there. I'm, I don't understand the wing. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got dual gas tanks. Wait, is that where the gas actually is in this car? Like, the two little tanks, on, or the two plastic containers on the side is there not an actual fuel tank in here i don't think there is folks i don't see any sort of fuel tank the fuel tank should be in the rear right it's not in the front is it in the front no it's just a big spare all right well um we're in it for the long haul here you think we can make it all the way down to the mountain without crashing and with police cars and also stay tuned we're gonna test this against a t-series i'm curious i actually think it might be slightly better Okay, do you think if we put it in low four, would that be better? Well, let's go low four here. Okay, you're definitely not getting the wheel spin, but it definitely lost some uh, some of its pulling power. I feel. Well, let's go back to high. Yeah, high you get the you get the wheel spin, but I think once it actually gets up to speed, if you kind of like modulate the throttle and don't go wide open, honestly, this is good. I mean, I say it's better than the T series, knowing that it probably isn't better than the t-series and we really haven't gone very far so there's a chance that it's gonna break down um <laughs> but to be going like we are now now granted this is an empty trailer we might have to strap something oh geez okay the brakes are a little tricky on it i didn't think i was gonna be doing this today this is amazing by the way uh but yeah will it be able to haul something that's heavy like this is empty obviously there's a decent bit of weight here still but yeah, I think we'll have to put it under like a full load. That's where I think the T-Series is going to definitely outperform it. Uh, but we'll have to see. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. The, the cops aren't mad at me right now, which is probably good because I think if they crash into me, I'm done. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so this thing slides a little bit. It's almost like the trailer uh, starts to push it. Oh, wait, what are you guys? Wait, they're probably mad at me. Actually, they're probably just confused. They're like, can you even like legally do this? I mean, what would keep you from not being able to do this? Uh, honestly, I would think maybe a couple things. Uh, the mirrors kind of suck. They look like they're looking under the trailer, which, yeah, you definitely have some some visibility. Wait, hold on. This isn't a normal steering wheel, is it? No, this is like a truck wheel. Okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah, definitely a, from a visibility standpoint, I'm not sure this would be allowed. Like, I'm pretty sure you have to have standards with mirrors on trucks. And Oh, my goodness. Okay. Come on, we got this. Oh, it's sliding. Oh, the cops have caught up to us. Okay, no, 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 no. Hey, leave me alone. 
I mean, we made it down in the highway. I didn't think we'd make it that far. Uh, let's swing wide here. Yeah, it turns really, really good. Like, I feel like I could definitely maneuver this trailer through some pretty tight spots. Uh, we need to do a speed test. I'm going to go here by the bridge, and we're going to turn around and see how fast we can get this thing moving. Like, it's good. Like, I thought it was going to break down by now, especially after we first hooked it up. I was like, oh my goodness, it just broke in half. All right, so we're going to do this. Let's go ahead. We're going to pop a U-turn here. Let's see the turning radius. Uh, cops are after us, but they haven't caught us. Hold on. We're going to swing it a little bit here, and then here we go. Oh my goodness, I somehow busted the window. I think, uh-oh, I jackknife. But you can just pull right out of it. Like, it pivots and turns so easily. Oh, I think it just broke the wing. Oh, and here are the cops. Oh, he just smashed it in the bag, but guess what, loser? I mean, we're not going to have the smashing power with the front end, like the uh, the big T-series, but this is good. All right, let's see what kind of speed we can get. I'm overheating, by the way. Did I? Um, I don't think I hit anything. I wonder if it's just getting ready to break down because it's to towing, like, way too much. Oh, my goodness. Yep, there's the smoke. Okay, come on. Give me a little bit more speed. I'm going to push it. Uh, we hit 100 in it, which is honestly a miracle. Yeah, if this thing crashes, I think the car is going to get crushed by the trailer. Uh, oh, I hear the cop behind us. Um, uh, it it's fine. Uh-oh, 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 I'm losing some turning power. Oh, no! Oh, it's going to flip! Oh, slow it down! Oh, are we good? I mean, I think I survived that. Wait, it actually disconnected the, uh, the little roof rails and what's that cop doing? Oh my goodness, the cop just smashed right into the rock there. That looks epic. Yeah, if you look at the bottom, that's the rails that were attached to the car. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, oh, never mind. We just got crushed by our own trailer. No, we survived that. I mean, it's got a roll cage in it. I still wouldn't trust a cage that looks like it's been welded in very, uh, very halfway, like... I don't trust anything about this. Wait. Oh, he lost his engine. Okay, that's impressive. All right, here. Let me move myself to this side. Let's try a heavier load. I'm thinking the heaviest tanker trailer we have, and it's going to have diesel in it, so it might light on fire. Honestly, I think the clearance might be a little bit better on this one. Hold on. Let's go back. Can I hook this one up? Okay. So we'll go boom. Cops are coming, by the way. Oh, is it going to snap it? So, oh, it broke the fuel tank. So I think that's a common thing the first time. Uh, hold on. I think it might do it again here. I think you have to place yourself, like, right under this and then almost, like, reset. If not, it breaks it in half. Hold on. Let's go. Boom. Oh, come on, baby. Uh, you got this. Got to push under. Okay, can I reset under here? No, it's going to offset it because of the way it spawns. Okay, how do we manage to not break this the first time? Uh, so these might be the slowest cops ever because they, they should be here by now. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, it didn't break that time. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at how much weight is on the back of this though. Like it is smushing it. I think I'm bottomed out. Look at the tires. They're all the way, they're almost, they look deflated. Like that much weight is on this. Hold on, can we actually haul out with this? Uh, let's try low gear, get some towing power. The cop just pulled up behind us. Probably really confused. Oh my goodness, it broke off the hitch. Okay. So, you know when I talked about the shortcomings? If it's an empty trailer, I would even say a flatbed with some cars on it. It wouldn't have much of an issue. But a full tanker? Yeah, we definitely push this beyond its limit. I mean, it's impressive that it works the way it does. Uh, yeah, this is, this is great. So, maybe we should do just a straight-up test. We'll do maybe the diesel with an empty trailer like what we had on before versus this. Just to see which one... Uh, maybe gets down the crash hard mountain a little bit faster. All right, I've got a test here. So we have six trucks set up with the same trailer that the Shintola has on it. And uh, yeah, we're going to see who can get down this uh, mountain here. I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, we'll see if it's even going to work. I hope I don't break over the waterfall or the jump. Uh, there is a chance this thing's a little weak in the center. Uh, but we'll have to see. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're off. Okay, just give it some, give it some time. Try to prevent the wheel spin. Uh, the trucks are slowly like giving each other room here. I only spawned in uh, three in the row. Normally you could spawn in four. I was hoping to give them a little bit more room. So we passed one. Okay, they're starting, <laughs> they're starting to get speed. But are they gonna crash each other? Is the question. It's actually kind of hard to see around this right now. Uh, should we go? Let's do this round. Oh my goodness, this is not a good idea. Oh, wait, did it break? Wait, it made it. Oh, oh, my goodness. It's unstable now. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no. All right. Well, we can watch the other ones go down real quick. Uh, we got a competitive race. Yeah, the, something happened over the waterfall. And, oh, man. 
All right, let's go up here. We got the red one. There's a yellow one in front of it. Oh, it's sideways. He's going to block the track here. Here comes the orange. Oh, he skidded it by. That was beautiful, actually. Uh, is the yellow going to win here? Orange is catching, but I think looks like for the most part it's going to be the yellow truck has won. Yeah, we might have an issue on our hands. Um, wait, is that... How did I get down here? Oh, okay. I guess I was sliding down. All right, we're going to have to try it again. I don't know what happened. I felt like something snapped when we jumped over the waterfall there. All right, ready for round two. Uh, I hope that we hold together this time. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're off once again. Okay. Let it get up to speed. Avoid the wheel spin here. Uh, we got the camera really low this time. Uh, this is probably not good. Hold on. Let's go to this cam. Uh, let's ride this cam real quick. It's just hard to see the car. Uh, that's the problem I'm dealing with right now. You have to pivot the camera. Uh, it's not like a normal diesel, obviously, and the camera shifts back when you have a trailer attached. Okay, uh, let's give it more throttle here. Over. Okay, wait. It feels like it's good this time. Uh, it didn't snap or anything, so I guess we're going to have to ride aboard. I still have a trailer. Yes, I do indeed still have a trailer. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come on. we got to give it some more throttle. Those other trucks are going to beat us. Oh, man, it's unstable. It is really unstable with that trailer. Oh, buddy, we got to run through this crash. This is going to suck. Hold it wide open. Oh, my goodness. Look at the death around. Oh, no, we just went under the truck. Wait. Wait, what the? Um, I'm not sure what's happening here. We're, like, boxed in at the moment. Um, Did we win? Oh, wow. Dude, we were so close. The whole field stopped. Uh, yeah, you have the blue truck, black truck, yellow truck. I am pinned here. Is this, is this my trailer? Oh, this is definitely mine. So it seems like a weak point, which, I mean, to be fair, it shouldn't even do what it's doing right now. Uh, the weak point seems to be these rails. Uh, that's the second time they snapped off. Yeah, to be fair, I was running into a crash. Uh, there's not a whole lot I could have done. But I think we're going to give this one more attempt here. I want to try to make it down this uh, and try to outsmart or outdo those T-Series trucks. All right, we're hooked up. Ready to go. One more try on this. Here we go. Actually, you know what? Let me disconnect. And if I reconnect, can I get the camera to shift? Okay, it shifted back that time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And we're off. All right, we got this. Uh-oh, the right side truck, that black one's not moving for some reason. It's like it's stuck. Okay, that's good. That's one less truck to get by. Okay, we're going to breeze by the red one. Right, I'm going to have to give it a little bit more throttle this time. I need to get alongside and or ahead of those other trucks because if one of them gets turned sideways, it's a track blocker. All right, here we go. Oh, man, it takes that waterfall actually quite well. Uh, maybe just the first time it was just maybe a little bit of a fluke, I would call it, because two times here in a row, uh, it's been great. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh -oh, they're getting a little sideways. All right, come on. Oh, I'm getting sideways. It gets bouncy. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we're going to lose the load. We're going to lose the load. Okay, just guess it. Guess it. we got to try to make it through. Oh, my goodness. The camera doesn't even know what to follow right now. Oh, we just got crushed. We got crushed. Oh, we got plowed over. Well, it's certainly creating excellent crashes. And you know what? I think in like a drag race competition, if we had just the empty trailers, uh, the Shintilla. Wait, does it still run? Uh, well, I guess we can call it running. Uh, this thing I think would outrun it, but I think when it comes to the practical hauling and anything heavier than an empty trailer, you definitely might want to just stick with the T-Series. But bravo to the creator of this. This is an awesome mod.